a rate is a ratio that compares two quantities that are measured in different units. So as soon as we see rate, right, it's still a ratio, but then it is a different unit. For example, miles per gallon, miles per gallon. Okay. A rate where the second quantity is one is called a unit rate. Read each problem situation below and find out what the unit rate is by dividing, dividing by a common factor uh, to get a unit of one. So the first situation, 300 miles, 15 gallons. How many miles did you get per gallon? Per gallon means one. So if it's asking the question, how many miles, you're going to have to divide. So first, looking at 15 down to 1, if you're not sure how many times 15 goes in 300, well, make a smaller fraction, a smaller ratio, by dividing by a number that you do recognize. For example, 300 divided by 3 is 100. 15 divided by 3 is 5. So now that you have 5, now go back and compare it to 1. 5 divided by 5 is 1. And then 100 divided by 5 would be 20. 20 miles per gallon. There's 30 students, 30 students seated at five tables. So we have the rate is given to where it's looking at students and tables. We got 30 students and five tables. So when we're looking at this rate here, if we go down to a unit rate, well, 30, so we could divide by 30 or we could divide by five. So to get a unit of one, the unit rate Let's look at getting, says how many are going to be at each table, one table. So asking the question, how do you go from five down to one? Divide by five, so do the same thing on the top. 30 divided by five would give us six. Six students for one table. Three medium apples, so we're looking at apples, have about 210 calories. We're going to look at what's being compared. We're comparing apples to calories. And this says three and then 100, uh, 210. Three apples, 210. How many calories are there per one apple? one apple. So you're talking about per apple, so that's going to be one. And we're trying to get down to the unit of one. So we look at apples to apples. Ask the question, how do you go from three down to one? I'm going to divide. So then 210 divided by three. 21 divided by three is seven, and then zero divided by three would be zero. And that's going to be calories. One apple is 70 calories or 70 calories per apple. Okay. Last example for the front. We're looking at ounces and cost. So those two items are being compared. So we set up the ratio or the, the rate here. Ounces and then cost. And we look at six ounces and then three dollars and sixty cents. What is the cost per ounce? Per one ounce. So we look at one ounce and go up here and then write in one ounce. And start comparing. How do you go from six down to one? Divide by six. 
So we're going to do the same thing over here. 36 divided by 6 is going to be 6. 3.60. Use your decimal operations. Then bring your decimal up into your answer. So you got 0 0.60. And that's going to be the dollars per ounce. So it's 60 cents per ounce. So let's take that and go to the back. And when we look at finding rate or using the rate, we can divide or multiply. So you are going to decide whether you're going to multiply by the rate or you're going to divide to find the rate. So some of them it's actually easier to multiply. So we have 22 miles per gallons. And if we're talking about 16 gallons, we can actually change this to a multiplication problem to help us find the answer. So miles per gallon, you're going to multiply the miles times the gallons to find the total. So let's just pick one right here. So we have an 8 as the last digit. So 3 times 6 is 8. So uh, 3 times 6 is 18. So let's try that. So I'm going to put a question mark here at 23. 3 times 6 is 18. Carry the 1. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1 is 4. Done multiplying there. Cross out the spot. 2 times 6 is 12. Carry the 1. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3. 368. So it looks like that was actually a good answer right there. Okay, uh, number two, $24 per one sweater. And this says which one is not $24 for one sweater. So if we do 72 divided by 3, 96 divided by 4, 120 divided by 5. So let's check this here, 72 divided by 3. 2 times 3 is 6, and 3 goes into 12 4 times. So that is 24. This one equals 24. So 2 times 24, we could do it that way. 2 times 24 is 48. 48 is not, is not $38. Per hours, here's the hours, and per hours we're going to multiply, and we can do 4.5, four and a half, change that to a decimal, and we need 54, so we need a four as the first number. And we try to see which one would have four as the first number, so five times one, five times two, five times, 3 is 15. Let me see. Miles per hour. Let's check this. So I am going to check this one here. B times 12. 2 times 5 is 10. Carry the 1. 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9. 5 and then 4. So once you multiply this out, move the decimal over one spot, and we end up with 54. Okay, uh, Kelly's family spends an average of $50 per month, or $70, $70 per month. At that rate, what can Kelly's family expect to sp spend on electricity for one year? One year is 12 months. So we have 70 per 12 months. So that means you're going to multiply 70 times 12. Okay, finish that up. 55 miles per hour. 
So that each one of the hours is down here. So times 55 times 55 times 55. And so the last digit, you need to be five right here. So it's probably not going to be these two numbers. So you could do 55 times five and check and see. Five times five is 25. Five times five is 25 plus two. And so the last one here, 60 miles per hour. How far was she in two and a half hours? Per hour. So you got 60 times 3.5.